what's up everybody this is your host Afzal and in today's video I'm going to create this I hope you liked it I know you do so this we are going to create inside Wondershare market so this is not a programming tutorial maybe I'll do part two of the video if you guys suggest me in the comment section but for this video we'll be sticking with Wondershare market to create this prototype in less than 15 minutes thank you so much Wondershare for sponsoring this video we're gonna start right after this intro market works on Windows Mac Linux as well as your web browser which means it works everywhere let's begin by creating a new project so simply name the project select the template size for which you want to design either mobile tablets TV watch or even your custom size which you prefer and this is how their default layout looks like these are the tools which you will need to design your prototype here on the left you will find most commonly used tools and of course if you want to access all the custom components for material design iOS design or even Windows component you will find it all here on the right hand side okay so let me go ahead and delete the status bar title bar because I want to create onboarding screen so I don't really need all these things so first thing we need is an image for the background of the page you can simply drag and drop components on the canvas and resize as per your need. Mockit gives nice guideline to place items. Now for the image source, I'm going to browse it from my computer. I could have dragged the image here, but I don't know why I chose to browse it. <laughs> Anyways, to resize the image, you can double tap and hold one of the corner and drag it until you like it. And it's done okay let me quickly add an icon image and one quick tip over here if you want to resize proportionally then hold shift key while dragging it it will grow proportional to the height and width otherwise it will grow only in one direction so that's the quick tip over here now I want this icon to be rounded corner don't worry we don't need to change our icon for that simply go to style section and change this rounded property if you want to modify individual corner you can do that as well so this looks fine to me let's move to the next component and add some title to our page you can modify different properties like alignment font size font family and other things it's so basic that even a newborn can do it or, or that was too much just kidding so let's add another text this time I will just press command D or control D if you're on Windows to duplicate and then modify the text and properties and everything else you want totally depends on your preference so I hope you guys are still with me let's add a button to the page now here I want a custom look and feel for the button so I'll not create or I'll not drag the inbuilt button what I'll do I'll create a rectangle make it rounded corner and modify as per my design one bonus tip here don't use borders to the button it shows how old you are <laughs> just kidding I mean borders to the button is the story of 2000s the old good days of mobile applications and yes of course you can play around with the shadow make sure that you don't overuse it perfect so let's add a text to the button I will grab text tool to show you how to work with different layers you can simply select multiple layers and press command G or control G to group them so that it moves together and you don't have to create all layers again and again let's also add one text in the bottom and I'm going to duplicate it as I did previously with the help of command D okay so now you know how to create your page and work with components let me show you how to add more page so now I need your attention as it's a difficult process click the plus button on top left and it's done 
I mean, yes, that's how you create new screen. It's not so difficult, right? Okay, here is the deal. You guys are still in the video and enjoying it. Make sure to give it a like and I will move a little bit faster with next couple of pages. 2x speed maybe. Deal. Now let me show you some cool features of Mockit. Here you can simply drag the pre-built components like carousel, like drop down and there are ton of components available inside Mockit. So you can just choose them and drag on your design and it, it is completely functional. I'm going to provide the images to show in the carousel slider and you can add extra image as well if you want. And also I'm going to customize it to the look and feel of the application. So instead of this black color, I'll make it a little bit teal. How cool is that with just few clicks, you have this wonderful slider in place. Perfect, right? Now it's time to copy paste again. I'll copy title, subtitle and some buttons of the previous page. With slight modification in properties, our next page is ready and it's just looking stunning, isn't it? So before we move ahead, it's time to give shout out to our channel members. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. And if you guys want to contribute to the channel, you can go ahead and click that join button below the video and become a member of this channel. And in return of that, I'm going to give one extra video for members. There's a behind the scene, there's a shout out, emojis, a lot of other things. So make sure to check the membership perks and we'll continue with today's video. Wonderful. Let's create another page where I can show you some other cool features of Mockit. You can create multiple guidelines to align the layout properly. And now let me introduce to their inbuilt icons. So for instance, I want back button here in this page. Simply I can go to icon section and type back. Here are the list of icons matching with my search. So notice that it gives icon from all different libraries like material, feather, iOS and many more. It is very helpful to have the access to such big icon library. Icons are really in trend nowadays. So leave your comment below if you agree with me that design with the icons look more appealing. Or if you are disagreeing with me, also you can leave your feedback in the comment section below. So using some icons and our custom button, I have created these two buttons for social login and it's just looking perfect for the design. So for the 60% audience who are still watching me, let me show you the input control from Market. So this is not just a box. Of course, you can play around with the different properties like you can make it rounded, you can change the font color and all those stuff. But here you can specify the type of input you are expecting and bam, you will get a keyboard which will behave accordingly for emails, numbers, passwords and etc. If you are into prototyping or you just want to showcase your idea to someone, this tool is really a gem for you. In a few clicks, you can create mockup, which is intractable and responsive. So with some duplicates and some more properties click, I'm done with the final flow of login. Let me show you how it looks few moments later. Oh, it's not moving forward. Why? because I didn't provide any linking yet. So let me show you how to link your screens. When you click on any item, you will get this action button. Simply drag it to the page where you want to navigate it and it's done. It's that simple. Similarly, I will provide linking for all the pages. Don't worry, it's not going to take any time. We have the power of video editing. 4x speed, please. Cool. Now let's have a look to our final design.
perfect it's just looking awesome now let me show you how you can export your project if you want to share the files you can simply download them or if you want to export android application itself you can do that as well but yes it's available only for enterprise license so you can check the pricing for yourself the link is there in the description and now it's time to share your idea to others maybe your boss your friend or your investor or i don't know anyone so you can copy the link directly select the pages you want to share and done others can see your mock-up and give feedback on them you can also share this to your development team where they will see all the assets and a pixel perfect design to work with and now last but not the least you can include this design in your website with the help of iframe to showcase your work in portfolio this one is my personal favorite and that's it for this video i hope you people enjoyed it leave your feedback in the comment section below hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe yes you have to subscribe to get the notifications when i post videos related to flutter related to design and stuff like that and don't forget to check out wondershare market it's really nice tool you'll find first link in the description and first link in the comment section below i will see you guys in the next one